Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video we have a square card reader. This allows you to take payments in store or on the go. Uh, you can accept chip and pin cards, uh, contactless cards, Apple Pay, Google Play. Um, it connects wirelessly and you can ex accept payments quickly and get your funds within a day, I believe. Um, so yeah, and no matter what, no matter which way your customers pay, you'll always pay a flat rate um, fee of 1.75%, which is pretty good. These are perfect for um, sole traders, um, like my fiance. Um, she has a small baking business, and this is perfect. For someone like her, she hasn't been able to take card payments up until this point. So hopefully, once uh, once this video is done, we'll be all set up. This is powered by an app that you'll put onto your mobile phone, and there'll be a link in the description um, where you can check whether or not your phone is compatible with this. I mean, lots of phones are, so I won't worry too much unless your phone's really old. Um, you should be okay. So we're just going to open up the box. Let's start selling. Here's the device itself. I think. Oh yeah, charging cable. In there. So we have just a few steps, um, let's get right to those, so step one, get the app, yep, so that's what we're going to do. So once the app is installed and you have signed up using your email address and password, you'll be asked which type of merchant best describes you, in this case it's individual, sole trader. And then it'll ask you for your business name, what type of business it is, and business category, estimated revenue, and your trading name, um, which is optional. So as you can see, excuse me, just correct that there. Sky Bella Cakes, food and drink, bakery, less than eight to three thousand a year. We're not going to put a trading name in there. And then here you'll put your legal name, home address, etc, etc, date of birth and phone number. This is just to verify um, your identity, I believe. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. And as you can see, once you put all the details in and, and click to continue, it will start to try and uh, verify your identity. Not quite sure if it does that, to be honest. Not sure what process it uses to verify your, that you are who you say you are. But that seems to be what it's doing. Where will you sell? Now this you can click more than one thing on here. In our case it's from home and on the go. I mean sometimes there'll be events I suppose. Um and we'll leave it at that. For now. It'll ask you what device you'll use to take payments. We'll be using a mobile phone. Click continue. Um, what, else, what else can we help you manage? Um, so you can create item catalogs and manage employees, blah, blah, blah. We don't need none of this. So we can check that box and click continue. Uh, it class you how fast you want to get paid. You have two options. Next working day, which is free, or you can have it same day for an extra 1% um, of each deposit. Um, so that would be on top of the 1.75% 1 1 transaction fee. Um, we're just going to go with next working day. And here you'll need to put your account number uh, for your bank along with the sort code and the account holder's name. So we're just going to do that now. Then you'll be met with 
a confirmation page to confirm the details that you've entered. So I'll go ahead and just check that you have put the correct details in there. Make sure that your e email address is right and your home address and obviously your bank details. And then click the submit button. I'm not going to show you that because I have personal information on there. And now it'll tell you to choose your square reader. So continue. In our case, it is this one. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and choose that. Scroll down. Oh, oh I'm going to What am I doing? Nope, nope, nope. That's not what we're doing. One second. Just hit the backup button. We already have one, so we don't need to buy one. Um, so we'll skip that. For now, uh, I got yeah. Didn't mention that this cost. Uh, I think it was nineteen pounds from Amazon. Uh, enable device settings. So we're going to, have to enable uh, while using the app. Enable device storage. Allow. Enable phone access, which you'll have to allow as well. I believe you'll have to allow all those things, otherwise it won't work. Uh, as you can see, this is the app. Um, now we need to, just give me a moment. Um, so yeah, on your app, um, click more. And this is, we're gonna connect the device to the mobile phone now. Then settings, uh, hardware, Square Reader. Um, oh, sorry, and we're going to click Connect to Reader, and then we're going to take our can reader, and we're going to hold the on button for around three seconds. As you can see, the lights are now flashing. The, phone, the mobile phone is purring with the device. Uh, click purr. Make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on on your mobile phone. Um, we are now connected and there is a tutorial you can watch. I suggest that you do that. Um, it'll take you through a few basics. Yep. Yep. You can swap old fashioned cards, um, but I believe you need. I'm not sure actually. Done. Contactless is enabled. Click OK. Okay, so we're going to make a charge just to test it out. Um, I changed the cost of this water to a quid. Um, so you click that, then you click Review Sale, and as you can see, water charge one pound, and then. It says tap or insert to pay, so we're going to take our card. As you can see, it's lit up. It made a beeping noise. Transactions are approved, and you can send a receipt by email, text message, or no receipt. We're just going to click no receipt for this. And I think yep, we're done. Yep, so that clearly worked. Um, just so you know, um, uh, so yeah, we chose the free deposit option, which means that payment will go into the account tomorrow, which is fine. Um, if you want your payments to be the same day, don't forget there's a 1% um, deposit fee on top of the 1.75% transaction fee. Um, so yeah. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else to it. So yeah, that's that. As you can see, uh, our bank told us that we made a payment to Scab of the Cakes. And yeah, um, I think that covers it all.
Um, I'm not going to explain all of the ins and outs of this because it's honestly it's not that complicated. You, you'll be able to work it out within 10 minutes of playing around on the app. Um, but yeah, well worth the um, transaction fee. Well worth the £19 I think I paid for it, but I believe it's £16 on their website, which I didn't know about until today. Um, so yeah, all links will be in the description. Um, device compatibility link, um, links where you can buy it. Um, and I'll put I'll put as much information as in, in there as possible, um, like a few tips um, that'll help you on your way. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.